We wouldn't be doing it unless we honestly and truthfully believe we're going to win. We wouldn't be doing it unless we had the best possible case. And we certainly wouldn't be doing it unless we had the invisible support that we do have. We have barristers, we have solicitors, we have lawyers behind us. They can't come in front of us because they're in a code of ethics with the High Court. So under no circumstances they'd lose their jobs. But they're all standing well and truly behind us. That's all you need to know is they're there. So by all of us going in as home homemaker or gentleman, gentleman was allowed, man wasn't allowed, woman wasn't allowed, lady wasn't allowed. We went through the whole process till we found our boss. So they won't be able to differentiate between us. So it means it'll be pickings as to who goes in first or who doesn't. I don't envisage anyone losing, but just in case, they think that they will. So just in case, we make sure that they can't cherry pick us in that way. If they go in order, my case is first. I filed mine the 17th of November last year, and I did it deliberately a year away from doing this, so that we'd be ready for this and so that every possibility mine were going first. It gives you a chance to talk to everybody, to see where they're at personally. Do you know, because a lot of people would have come here this morning terrified. Terrified from the, the way that they have been bullied up until now and terrified to take an action themselves, to actually step into their power. What you will find this morning is the difference of going in to the difference of coming out on people's faces. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. The empowerment is unreal. And that's what this is all about. Yeah. It's people standing in their power. And just, I mean, a very quick recap just for people who uh, don't know about this. Just why are we here today, very quickly? Well, why we're here is these are dead, plain, ordinary Irish people who've had enough. The government hasn't supported us. It's given the banks two to three years to regroup and to fill in the gaps and all the patches in law that they had broken when they had signed and, and went into agreement with the Irish people in the first place. So basically, if nobody else is going to stand up for us, we got to do it for ourselves. So that's what these people are doing. This is phase four. And at the end of today, there will have been 250 cases filed in yeah. three weeks. OK, well, that's what I was just going to ask you next. So, I mean, for anyone else who's interested and wants to get involved, what's the best thing to do? Well, it's so simple. You can get onto Debt Options, D-E-B-T-O-P-T-I-O-N-S, all one word, on Facebook. And there you can um, see all of the way to actually do this and you'll see all of the numbers around the country of the hubs of people who will talk to you and give you some advice as to whether this is for you or not um, and then you can always phone me directly 0872565728 and I will go through exactly how we came to this process and why this process is the right one for us. Great, so we'll go and have a chat with a few people outside the High Court and just see how they're getting on. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about why you're here today with Debt Options? Well, I've been studying uh, the financial situation uh, globally for a number of years now and uh, I realised that the fraud was apparent many years ago and I've been mortgaged since uh, 2005 and I've realised that uh, you know, it's actually null and void due to, due to fraud on the contracts. That's the reason why I'm here, is to have a valid case for fraud. OK, so you're suing your mortgage lender for a million euro? For a million euros, yeah, for damages, for stress and for breach of, of their own legislation. So that, does that mean you're not paying your mo any further mortgage payments until this is addressed in court? Well, it'll, be, it'll be frozen now because I'm a plaintiff now and I'm bringing my case against the, uh, the bank itself, Ulster Bank, and it has to be frozen because they can't incur more penalties and charges if, if they're being sued because of, of the uh, prospect of them being proven fraudulent. So at the moment, is this a process? Are you confident at the moment with, with how things are going? I'm absolutely very confident that, that I'll be successful with this, absolutely 100%. I'm speaking with um, Charlie Allen. Charlie, just want to ask you a couple of questions. Why are you here today, can you tell us? Uh, supporting uh, Clare in their initiative to taking on the banks, basically. We have a mortgage ourselves. And uh, even though we have a, an illegal um, upper hand in it, we still want to support this initiative. OK, so you're actually taking action here as well yourself, are you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So c can you tell us anything about your f financial situation in the lead up to this? Uh, we had a business, uh, landscape architecture, garden design, and the economy crashed. And um, in our particular case, believe it or not, the banks have we've, we've a property with some additional land and they've decided, unknown to us, to um, move the uh, mortgage from one property to another without permission. So that's the basis for, for our uh, legal pursuit here. Okay. 
And um, just about, I mean, uh, just about your decision to take this action here today. Like it, it, it's quite a, it's quite a, a big action. People are taking suing the banks each for, for a million euro. Yeah. Um, was it hard to come to commit to that, or no. was it difficult? No, no. As I say, it's public, and I'm happy to be here in public because I think the stigma should be broken for people and the shame of people uh, owing money and being in financial difficulty. It so is, it is. That's 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 gone. So have you any worry now, or how do you feel about this process now? Are you confident with? Totally. Can you tell us what you're doing outside the High Court here today with us? Well, I'm taking action against my bank um, for the stress that it's caused me and my family. Um, I've had to move out of my home and rent my home out in order to just pay a quarter of the mortgage um, just to keep the banks at bay for the time being. But uh, it really is very stressful for me, I have to say. And can you tell us a little bit over the last couple of months or years, what's your financial situation like? How has it impacted your life or what, what were the problems you had? Well, the fact that I had to close my business because I wasn't able to make to make even the rent, not to mind my mortgage and rent, um, the, the banks just started to squeeze on me straight away, demanding more and more, and I was getting more letters, more phone calls. And I was even asked, like, why don't I take on two or three jobs so that I can pay? my mortgage and food wasn't coming into the equation at all it was just pay pay for your house so you'll have nothing and when when did you hear about this um this this project here debt options well um, claire did actually speak to me about four months ago but i think a lot of it went over my head because i was so stressed you know it wasn't making 100 percent sense to me because a lot of help i've been told of before it didn't come to anything um, but then uh, a friend of hers met up with me recently and she told me that she had actually come up to the, the courts with you. So I said it was time to take action in this way. Yeah, and was it a hard decision? Or is it a scary process to get um, involved or how, how do you feel now about it? I, f I feel that it's, it's stressful in that I'm speaking out about something, but I'm feeling more relief that I'm doing it and I have no other choice. To speak Can you tell me what you're doing outside the High Court here today, please? I'm coming to sue the banks with the help of Claire Cunningham. And um, I just find I'm 65 years of age now. There's no way I'm going to pay the banks back. Never. None of us live two or three lifetimes. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about your financial situation? I owe them about two million. And um, they, they have put me on interest only, the two different banks, the last year because I was on my knees to them. And I had a triple bypass. You know, they, they really put me under great stress. And um, they also have an art business which now is ruined because of the economy. Well, what the banks have been doing to this country is scandalous. And I hope to, to get some justice. And was it a hard decision for you to make to join up with, with debt options and to take this uh, massive action? Or what was your thought no, process? It, it was a, a relief because there's no way can I ever pay them back what they owe them. And there's no way I've offered them. I, I pleaded with them to do some sort of a debt forgiveness with me. And they just said, no, 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 no. And I hope this will make them think twice. So you're confident at the process at the moment. And, and what about support? Is there a lot, a lot no, of support? No, there seems to be a lot of support. It's my first time here. Um, there seems to be a great deal of support. And I hope it grows and grows and grows. Uh, so I'm, I'm outside the High Court with Paul Coyle. Can you tell me what you're doing here today, Paul, please? I'm um, suing the banks. And why? Tell us, please. I'm suing the banks because they're um, destroying our economy, crushing people on a daily basis without regard for anybody's health or safety. Okay. And um, can I ask what, what, a little bit about your financial situation? Well, I'm currently a successful businessman. I have a small business. We employ 24 people. Um, things are good right now for us. But I feel that if the way the government is continuing in, in financing banks and not financing the people of the country, I think that my business won't be successful for too much longer. So something needs to be done right now. Yeah, so you're just taking a moral stand here at the moment. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, protecting, I'm trying to protect myself, my assets, the jobs of the people who work for me and uh, hopefully other people as well in, the, in our society. And was it a difficult decision for you to get involved and to join up with this campaign? No, this is a no-brainer. This is a great campaign uh, and many, many more people need to do it. We need to start taking control back from the, from the banks and giving the control back to the people. So the people have money in their bank accounts to spend money. When they spend money in our economy, that means there's more money for our society. It's simple. So would you be confident now with where this is going and with the support that's around and the people that are kind of educating everyone with this campaign? There is a great backup crew here to make sure that this works and uh, I, um, I, I can't see how it's not going to work. And I think uh, there's also a very big message being put out here to the people that run our society and uh, I, I think they have to listen and they're going to have to work with us.